I think a lot of the work the teacher education does is to enable teachers to ex undergo experience and then reflect. For all the proprietary software that we are using, whether it's operating system or office, we have equally good, if not better, uh, free and open source tools. So it is what we call a public software. The advantage that we see is, you know, can every school be a contributor? Uh, can every school become a creator? Networking is email. This is all for all. 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 NCF is a recommendation. This is a very good church. Recently, India has passed the Right to Education Act and the Right to Education Act requires every child in India to receive quality education and uh, this is a huge challenge for the education system. And to face this challenge, it's important that we have the required number of teachers in every school. In addition, we need to also make sure that the quality of teacher education is good enough for the teacher to be equipped for this task. I think the questions of quality of education largely come down to what teachers do with children. What teachers do with children cannot be understood simply by looking at what they do in a classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. I think teachers carry visions of what children can learn and which, what children should be as they grow up and they bring this complex knowledge into play in the classroom. And if you had to pick one area which would have the maximum impact on quality of education, it would be teachers and by default teacher education to prepare them. problems not of teacher education but of being a teacher is that you are really quite isolated in your work and you never discuss your work with any other peer you know if I'm alone and I know something it's not enough I know it only when I have shared it with somebody else and we have had a discussion or agreement or disagreement about it that's when experience becomes knowledge so I think Peer learning for of, of that kind is are very important for teachers because your core classroom experiences become a part of a, a shared community of knowers and that would be very empowering for teachers. The real challenges we have in teacher education are two. First is teachers and schools tend to be isolated. Because of my isolation, my ability, my opportunities for learning, for sharing are very limited. The second problem in teacher education is that teacher education sees a teacher as a consumer of resources, curricular resources created elsewhere. So it is not contextual and there is very little ownership of the teacher. This is another important uh, challenge that we have is the access to resources, curricular resources is also quite limited. When we look at these significant challenges to teacher education, we find that technology can play a very important role. we are able to really look at ICTs as a pedagogical tool, we find that the central challenges of teacher education can be significantly addressed by using technology. So in enabling teachers to create resources, working in a collaborative manner to construct resources, connecting teachers and teachers, and in accessing resources on a very large scale, I think technology plays a very important role in addressing the fundamental challenges of teacher education and this is what we have been trying in the Subject Teacher Forum program with RMSA Karnataka. It was Karnataka and looking at Karnataka, several other states also followed the model of engaging an external agency. Uh, for education delivery and maintenance. So it's a very large investment that Government of Karnataka and Government of India is making 
to see that you know com uh, computer literacy is brought among the students. At the same time, the other objective of taking technology to the classroom that is not happening to a very large extent. And in this process, when we are talking of education delivery, the agency that was tendered uh, had to also provide a coordinator at the school level to take care of the computer lab. Now, looking at the investment that is happening, we are not seeing anything that is happening in the computer lab being brought to the classroom process or to, or to the learning process. So, thereby if that had to happen, if the control of the computer lab is going to remain with the external agency, uh, teachers even though they are the owners of the lab, they are not exhibiting that ownership. If this ownership has to be exhi exhibited, then they, they should also be made you know, tech savvy, uh, how to make use of the computers. So, we thought you know how we are going to rope in the human resource that is available in the form of teachers to see that you know it is brought into the classroom process. So, now under STF we are trying to switch gears and try to see that how ownership could be brought to the school rather than remaining with the agency. ICT will come in handy both for the teacher and also for the student. There will be in the quantum of learning and the quality of learning will be more. That is why ICT is, a, is almost a necessity nowadays in our classrooms. Initially, we try to give them only the computer education. Computer education means the fundamentals of computers. Now the focus, is, uh, focus has been shifted. We would like to use the same computer as a tool to teach our core subjects like uh, mathematics, science and difficult concepts of science and mathematics can be easily taught in our classrooms. One of the best programs in the world actually is already in India. Since 2002, the Kerala IT at Schools program has done all the things which conventional ICT programs have not done. Their program is run by the teachers. So the combination of the curriculum being subject based and the ownership of the teachers or the program were two reasons for which the Kerala program has been very successful going from strength to strength. A second role model is the Delhi University's program, the ELEDU.net, to connect teachers in government schools and private schools. So both the USRN program and the ITH schools program have sort of helped us to build the basic ideas of the Sadhya Teacher Forum program. And based on our experience in working with a set of schools in one block in Bangalore, where we used a variety of digital methods to help teachers to create resources, access resources, connect one another to create a community of learning, we wanted to take it to a much larger level at a state level. And around the same time, RMSA got in touch with us because they wanted to introduce a new method of teacher education by an old method called Subject Teacher Forum, but they wanted to infuse technology into it. What I am talking about the Subject Teacher Forum is not just an ICT program. It is actually pioneering a new model of teacher development and one which we believe is essential if you want to meet RTE goals. ಒಟ್ಟಾರೆ ಈ ತರಬೇತಿಯ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ವೇದಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅವರ ಅನುಮಾನಗಳನ್ನು ಪರಿಹರಿಸ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಮತ್ತು ಅವರ ಅನುಭವಗಳನ್ನು ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಖಂಡಿತವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಈ ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳೇಬೇಕು ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಟೂಲ್ಗಳ ಪರಿಚಯವನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ತರಬೇತಿಯ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದಂತಹ ಅಂಗ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಬ್ಬರೊಬ್ಬರು ಸಂಪರ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಿವಾರಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂಥ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ನಾವು ಒತ್ತನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ವಿ ವಿ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಡೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ರಿಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿ ರಿಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ದ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ವಿತ್ ದರ್ ಕಲೀಗ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಕುಡ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ದಮ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ
So now we have around 180 teachers across math science and social science who are master resource persons who along with the state resource persons numbering around hundreds who are going to be conducting the cascade training for their fellow teachers at a district level that has just started and we are very excited about it. And once the workshops are over, actually teachers connected to one another on the mailing list to really create resources and share it with one another. In terms of the workshops, in terms of the mailing and the interactions on the web portal, which is rmsacarnatacaeducation.org.in, teachers in the subject teacher forum program have been enabled to access a variety of digital methods for their own professional development. Access to resources, important resources which have been identified as useful, which have been organized in meaningful ways, is the key to making uh, resources work for teachers. I mean, then we need to really imagine uh, uh, a library as being the heart and structure it the way the library has. So it seems always very possible no, to do with IT. So in terms of access to resources, we know that the World Wide Web is the biggest and the most powerful library in the world. So accessing resources digitally is a very powerful way for teacher education. I used to think about the books. Resource bacon said that I was book in a book. I was a 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 book in a ICT phase 2 is internet connection. The internet connection is the best resource for me. Wiki, Wikipedia is a website. If you have a search for the first time, you can find the first time. But I dream this STF 10 times better than Wiki. Wiki is the best information I have. इनफॉरमेशन आज तक सीखते हैं, but I may not frame an activity for that information. So STF should be a forum where teacher gets the idea of framing an activity for the development of the child. Probably इन अंदाज़ इधर उसे कलर मिले, ना ना क्लासरूम है गिरते हैं चले दरे, I get ideas from everywhere. One is the type of experience sharing workshops that we are going to have at the block level or cluster level, whatever it is. Uh, the other one is, is in terms of you know, not dislocating the person from the place of work, making use of the technology. Networking could be another uh, alternative methodology where a net experience sharing can happen. So thereby if I have done some uh, hard work, and if I am able to share with the whole teaching fraternity, the abundance of knowledge that could be created would be enormous. Networking is an email. This is all for all. 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 Weekend questions and that. None get doubt here on the hackello questions and I'll leave hack tied in it. Email Mukantra, Ella STF Ali Ronta, Ega Sadeki Ronta Sadesa, Ella Gual Talpate, Google Groups Ali. The key Yarge Adiki Utra Gutide, Aurunange answer Martha. None other answer Norton. None again other Mate and other doubts one third, Mate reply Martin. In no brero Idiki Hachina Mahitili, Nana Trade at a golden theatre. Ega Kaleda Nalak thing Linda, Muru Nalak thing Linda, Varavarano Idu. कंटिन्यूअस ये मूड बढ़ता है द वीकेंड क्वेश्चन संतने शनिवार शनिवार नाना दिन आहार दे देंगे अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट यूज़ ऑफ़ टेक्नोलॉजी इस टू सी टेक्नोलॉजी एस अ एरेंबलर फॉर रिसोर्स कंस्ट्रक्शन डिसेंट्रलाइज्ड रिसोर्स क्रिएशन एमएचआरडी गाइडलाइंस कीप टॉकिंग अबाउट लोकल रिसोर्स but with digital technologies, a variety of tools are available. Can actually be used by teachers to create resources. Tantra Jnana Nanu Modlu STF training haagodhi kinta Modlu Tantra Jnana Nanth Heledhre videos torsodhu, presentation maadadhu, slide show torsodhu, ashti anthan kondi dhe. Itti chike STF hoogi bandha nantara nanu simulations na kuda adapt maad kodadhe shwar maadhi dhe ne. Simulations matthu technology use maad kodadhe ne kandita maklali asakti barathe. 
ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಮಾಡಿ ಕಲಿ ಅಂತ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹತ್ತತ್ರ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ನಾನು ಮಾಡಿ ಕಲಿತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಹತ್ತತ್ರ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರಂನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಗಣತಿ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಜಿಯೋ ಜಿಬ್ರ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಎಜುಕೇಷನಲ್ ಟೂಲ್ನ ಪರಿಚಯ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ರು ಅದೇ ತರಬೇತಿ ನಮಗೆ ನೀಡೋದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ತರಬೇತಿಯಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಕೊಟ್ವಿ ಬೇರೆ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಜಿಯೋ ಜಿಬ್ರ ನೈಂಟಿ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಇವಾಗ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಜಾಮಿಟ್ರಿ ಮತ್ತು ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರವನ್ನು ಕಂಬೈನ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥದ್ದು ಕೆಲವು ಸಲ ನಾವು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಜಾಮಿಟ್ರಿನೇ ಬೇರೆ ಆಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರನೇ ಬೇರೆ ಅರ್ಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇರೆ ಆದರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಒಂದೇ ಅಂತ ಬರೀ ಹಾಗೆ ಹೇಳೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ನಾವು ಈ ಟೂಲ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಚಿತ್ರಣದ ಮುಖಾಂತರನೇ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಆ್ಯನಿಮೇಷನ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂದನೇ ತೋರಿಸೋದಾದರೆ ಇದು ಬರೀ ಅದು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಅಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪನೆಯನ್ನು ಇನ್ನೂ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೂಲ್ನ ಸಹಾಯದಿಂದ ನನಗೇನು ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆ ಸೂತ್ರಗಳು ಹೇಗೆ ಬಂತು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋದರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಆ ಸೂತ್ರವನ್ನು ಬಹಾಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರ ಬದಲು ಅವ್ರು ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಬಂತು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನೇ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅವರು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸೋಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದಿ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಸೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕೆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಏನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಏನೋ ಕೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಎಲ್ಸ್ there are certain things that are available already developed by somebody when i'm talking of khans academy and other places you know people who have generated something and it is already available and it is free to be used by anybody second is in terms of when you look at uh, uh, the educational tools that are available under ubuntu it could be fet it could be marbles it could be k star it could be uh, uh, k lab whatever it is when you look at all these things there are a number of th- uh, things that i can do it's only a tool that is provided uh, wherein i have got the freedom to make use of the tool to cut to my uh, demand or my requirement so thereby that is the process that all the teachers are undergoing right now the subject teacher forum tries to use a variety of digital methods now the nature of digital tools that we use is extremely important in education sharing and collaborating is a very essence of teaching learning textbooks are borrowed textbooks are shared teachers interpret text in different ways textbooks are publicly owned however when it comes to software unfortunately we are used to using software which is proprietary proprietary means that we don't own it we have only been given a license to use it so the vendor says you cannot share the software each of you has to buy it separately fortunately we find that for all the proprietary software that we are using whether it's operating system or office we have equally good if not better uh, free and open source tools which are made by the free software community a group of people who selflessly believe that software like knowledge should be freely shareable so it is uh, a, what we call a public software meaning that it's free to share it belongs to all of us it is sarvajanika so just like we have a public education system we are saying that the software that the public system should use should also be publicly owned when we started with mahiti sindhu that time you know we thought uh, we are going to work on microsoft platform later on when we came to ict phase 1 and phase 2 uh, we changed uh, our thinking and we said you know we we are going to work on linux platform it's not that switching over from uh, uh, microsoft to uh, f- a free open source is going to be very very difficult it's only question of mindset why we should make such a large investment on procurement of a software when something else is available uh, f- for free 
and looking at the parameters of what functions could be performed by investing on the software and the functions that are given by this open software, it, it makes no difference at all. The greatest advantage that uh, I see is, you know, one is in terms of the attack of virus. Uh, the whatever data that is stored, it is not going to be corrupted. Second advantage that I see is in terms of the costing. Uh, third advantage that I see is in terms of, you know, uh, when the software is being upgraded, I do not have to procure, procure a new version for that. You know, in this you know, there is no upgradation happens by itself. You know. So, thereby I see uh, three at least distinct advantages. The advantages could be much more than that. Kasta illa anta la kaliwa gay aude hosda druno kasta aage aage. Tevatin maklu computer operate madori tinal namik madado kasta aag bodo. Adar adar the result chana gide anta anu aga. Mela chalpa nau kalsu anta process yeni de. Chalpa sulubha gatte anu daga na vyak adina varsko bardo. Anu adu nanna vi praya. If they are able to make use of the educational tools that are available, free of cost. Uh, and they are able to uh, do that classroom practices or class learning process in the classroom in that fashion, I think it would be a great uh, you know, move forward. And lo looking at the website, the way in which they have been able to access these tools and the way in which they have been able to develop the activities, I think I am totally enthused. <laughs>